Why, hello everyone, and welcome to the stream. This is Otaku Showboat, and today we are starting up my very first time playing Timberborn. Yeah, that that that's right. I haven't I haven't really played this before. Uh, I've watched some Timberborn content, but uh, yeah, it is definitely the type of game that I am usually interested in. Uh, I didn't get it when it first released into early access, and I didn't really follow uh, the development in the various testing phases of this game, primarily because I, generally speaking, want something that's a little bit more complete these days. <laughs> just just a, li a little bit. Uh, they're, they're still adding more. Uh, the game is still in early access. I will make that clear right off the bat. Things will be updated and changed over time, but it's not like it's a broken experience. I hope. I, I hope. Not like, uh, not like playing the initial releases of uh, specific mod packs for, uh, for Factorio uh, when they, when they first release. So, yeah, basically, this game is, to the best of my knowledge, similar to games like Banished, which I did enjoy a lot. I, I really liked Banished when it first released, uh, and uh, I like this management type of game. This survival management is what I'll refer to it as, where, uh, yeah, if you make mistakes, your, uh, your, your, your colonists will die. Uh, in this case, our are beavers so we've got we've got beavers now i have not played before so as we go into a new game we we only really have the one option of faction to play as you know what i'm going to actually go into the settings and increase master volume a bit and i will decrease music volume a bit just so that these other settings are are good are are better -er 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 -er. The, mu the music always is too loud in every single game I've ever played <laughs> by uh, compared to the other effects. Anyway, yeah, uh, should we just begin? Because I've not really done this game before. Uh, what are we going to start as? What what map? There are many maps, apparently. Oh, there's mountain. There's a mountain range. Gee, I wonder if there's going to eventually be an achievement for doing for completing a game. If you can even complete a game on uh, on any of these maps, or have some arbitrary sort of "quote unquote" goal on the most difficult of maps uh, that are available, because that is a thing in Banished, by the way. That there is an achievement in Banished called Mountain Men, and I think it's to get a certain population of people on a mountain map, uh, which I've done, and. Uh, it's supposed to be one of the more difficult challenges, but we'll we'll see how how difficult this game actually is. We'll start with the recommended setting, though. First time playing through, and we'll start on normal. Uh, what does custom allow for? So custom allows you to change how many folks you start with. Don't know what these percentages mean aged 10 percent to 80 percent because we are making our ages be percentages okay uh, i would guess that that would be a percentage of some arbitrary lifespan so we start off i'm, I'm going to imagine that these defaults are the normal mode defaults so starting with seven adults and four children i think that's a little much it might just be something separate. Anyway, uh, we'll just start. I, th I think we'll just start. Well, you start with zero water. Okay. Anyway, go. Stuff things on the normal map. Ah, thank you. Yes, I did beat a Pyro Balance playthrough a couple weeks ago. Thursday before last. And uh, yeah, things I've I had I had a break from 
a one week break from streaming. What shall we call our settlement? I don't know. There. Hi, beavers. Please pause. That that's uh yeah, it looks like seven and four. So that those settings are exactly what I was thinking it would be, based off of the custom settings. Alright. Step one. This. This. I need to be able to, yeah, do that with the right mouse button. Why do I have to hold the mouse button down before it lets me do things? Is there like a right click action command? I don't know because I right click, I click and it won't immediately start moving the, the camera. I have to like hold it down for a second before it starts moving the camera. I don't like that. That's step one. Like, please, God, don't. Don't make me have to hold the mouse button down before allowing me to move the camera. I'm I'm going to need to move the camera. I, I absolutely need to move the camera. And I don't want it to have to wait a half a second. Or even like 0.2 of a second before my motions with the mouse start actually moving the camera. Like, that's just no. Please, please no. <laughs> please don't let this be a thing in the actual release of the game. That is that that's that's annoying. I'll I'll be completely honest. Haven't having to wait before you can even move the mouse. And then Q and E are too slow. So can I change that? C can I please change that? There's an unlock camera button. What does that do? Does it make me able to zoom in? Yes, it, it makes me able to clip the camera. Which, you know what, that's fine. I'd rather be able to clip through the terrain to see stuff through the terrain. Yes, this this is much better. I like I like that. But can we please not have the having to wait? So that just shows me what the key bindings are. Can I please change that? Alright, so the keyboard rotation speed can go up quite a lot <laughs> quite a lot uh, let's do 70 I don't really do edge scrolling the movement speed with WASD could probably be a little bit faster as well hmm and then yes yeah, so that's no faster Faster! We need we need faster. We need faster on the keyboard movement speed. Much faster. There we go. That's a bit better. That's a bit better. No. We must go 100%. We, mu we must go 100%. And then this speed... This speed is fine. This speed is acceptable. This is acceptable. At 100%. Uh, all right. I just I just wish that there wasn't this delay on being able to rotate the camera because I am going to be rotating the camera frequently, <laughs> very frequently. So just to get an idea of how big this map is as well, fairly large, fairly large. It said two fifty six by two fifty six. Um, I'm imagining that each that's the count on each one of these square tiles. And we start right over here. All right. The game has been flashing this wood button on me, but I'm just thinking of controls first and trying to get things all sorted out. All right. How are we going to do? How, how are we going to do this? Well, we need, of course, to set up. Generally speaking, three things. Food, water, and shelter. Those 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 are generally speaking the initial priorities when you first start a brand new game. Food, water, and shelter, and then you can start thinking about things like uh luxuries, like social stuff after that. But now first first we need food, water, and shelter. And now to get food, water, and shelter, you need resources. 
raw resources in this case. We're beavers. We need we need we need we need to get wood. We need to we need to we need to get wood. Hi Ollie. How you doing? There there there's the Ollie. Are you gonna join me on the side? Am I gonna have to get the camera set up again? I think I think we're gonna have to get this other camera set up again. Hi. How's the Ollie? How's Ollie? Let's get let's get that and that lever. Hi. There it is. There's the Ollie. There's the Ollie. Is that river drying up? Well, I'm paused, so this is just the state of the river. It looks to be relatively low re level at the moment. Like, I haven't even let the game run at all. <laughs> so this is just the initial state. At least that's what the graphics are showing, is that's a relatively low level. Unless it's just a map mode. It might just be a map mode. I don't know. There's this button here that says show water that does nothing. Right now, that does, that does nothing while the game is paused, apparently. There are 16 working hours. I guess that's fine. Shall we push that to 20? No, I think I think 16 will be okay. For the moment. Alright, so you want me to put down this lumberjack flag. It covers a pretty broad area. Um, am I going to want to cut down every single one of these trees? That's a great question. Because if I put this, if I put this flag here, it looks like it will cover the trees over here and the trees down here. And I'm going to want to get the space right available to me. Too far for builders. Oh no. Uh, so I'm going to place this here. Uh, and then I imagine I have to hook this up to stuff some things. I don't know. Um, and I will need to process that wood as well. All right, so give me, where's the, yeah, why, why are you showing me the flag? I put the flag. I put a flag. Now, where's the paths? There we go. Path. Hi. Give me, give me path. There. In, enjoy the path. We'll do, we'll do one of these things around the around the district center as well. Everything else is locked. We will also need food. Uh, if we put this over here, we'll gather all of the area's berries. Uh, I should get a walkway up onto here as well, as soon as I can. I won't really have the resources to set up farming quite yet just as long as we're collecting food and we're collecting wood uh, some storage would be nice all right so the log pile can go right in there and the warehouse should be able to store the various berries that we pick up I would hope and then the path Hmm. Alright, I should have moved that. Where's my delete button? Delete. Where where's the delete? Alright. Where is the deconstruct button? Demolish. Why is it the fifth item on this list? Uh, da, 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 delete. Yes, it hasn't been built yet. I know. Delete that. Yes. Uh, what I want to do is I want to do the path this way and then put the uh, gatherer's flag there and the storage warehouse there. Yeah, this... This... 
delay on the right click is excruciatingly painful. If there is a mod to get rid of that delay, I must know, like, immediately, because that's the very first thing that I want to kill with fire, is this stupid delay between when I right-click and when I actually can start moving the map and start rotating and the map that it, oh god it ah I hate it and then what what just happened there okay is it because I'm not ah it's because I'm not in building mode gotcha so if I'm in building mode it will give me a view of like the bottom the terrain layer and it shows you through the water the actual terrain layer so there that's what the water actually looks like there we go uh, it is a relatively low level at the moment uh, speaking of water I will need water that that's a thing that uh, that we absolutely need um gosh I mean early on I would really like this to be over here, but it's apparently too far for builders. I need to I need to bring the path to this area. Uh, like I will need to I need to actually bring the path over here before I can get the water. Now I would want the water on this deeper level because uh, the water I believe lasts longer. <laughs> the the deeper the area, but. Again, I think it applies to the actual water level. Now, that actual water level isn't very high at the moment. Now, will it fill up? I don't know. It's leaving out here, and there's not a differential. So that's the one thing about this game, is that this game does follow proper water physics. So the source... The source is much higher than the outlet. See that? The water will travel from high to low. That's about has that's about how complicated it gets. Uh, and the water will uh, get simulated along the like embankments that are available to it along the way. We don't have like erosion or any of that simulated in here, which, eh, whatever. It's tile based, so uh, it's fine to not have any sort of like erosional system in here. We just have to assume that this is a river that's just cut down enough so that it's like stuck where it is. There are some rivers like that. Ah, uh, but, you know, over time, rivers do change. I would know I took an entire class on rivers <laughs> uh, in uh, in my master's program. Ah, uh, so. We will need water, but I want to get it over here, because whatever. It, I, or it could be anywhere. And I just have to, like, dig something a little bit deeper. Or get water in here. That would be nice. Get water in here. Now, if you dam something, the water will uh, overflow all of this. So, if I were to dam on here, it will increase this water level a bit until it finds a path of least resistance to the sink out here uh, and if we block as much as we can it will continue to rise I would hope until like limited by this height but I don't know I haven't played around with this so much so I'm just trying to think like if we block here by a level what happens logically well the water will go up 
N up, and if it can't find a way around, shall we say, uh, it will go until it floods over, until it runs over. Which means that the area behind the dam would get a higher water level, right? I would hope. Uh, which would be a way of increasing this water level from way down here up to way up here is to put some sort of a some sort of a dam that allows the water to cross over the top and then from behind it will be much higher water level so I think that's going to be part of the plan uh, for now though we do need a pump uh, so I'm just going to put the pump uh, over here. Initial pump with tank. Hmm. Now the tanks can be anywhere, so I will want to make sure that they aren't going to block additional pumps. I'll put two of those down. Give me a path. That should connect all of that up. Now, that is food, water, resources to build the food and the water and the storage. Uh, all that would be left would be shelter, but these are higher priority, so we're going to let the game run now. Uh, I don't want to add something else drawing the attention of the builders because uh, there is such a thing as too many things. What faction have I selected? Well, considering I haven't played the game yet, and this is my first time playing, uh, my only option is the folktales. So, we are, we are playing as the initial race. Uh, nothing to do in range. What? Why? Are you not supposed to cut down all the stuff within the great big blue area that you've highlighted? Or do I have to like mark trees for cutting down? Oh, you want me to place two flags? Okay, well that's that's step one. Continue. And then actually build them. Maybe I should follow the tutorial that I'm, you know, blocking behind me. This, this tutorial. Can I please reposition this? Because if I try to reposition me, it's not gonna end well. Here, can I can I even can I reposition me there? I'm I I am here now. Build the flag. The flags have been built. Next. I have connected them. That that I have done. I you have to actually mark the trees for cutting and there's this thing here that says cut trees. All right, well, cut them cut them down. All 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 of these trees. Build a water pump. They're they're doing it. Trust me, they're they're doing it. Oh, I I don't want to disable the tutorial. I want to do stuff. I want to do stuff. Once we're done with the tutorial, I'll move myself back down. Don't don't worry about that. Oh, there's a little bug button down there. Ah yes, good FPS there, right there. It's it's excellent. Ha! <laughs> the flood is coming. Yes, the flood. Uh, the flood would absolutely, will absolutely be coming. Makes me wonder, though. <laughs> what happens if we block this? Like, coding-wise, is this the only exit from the map? Or does the game actually, like... Like, 
is is the water supposed to only exit from here? Is I suppose the question I have. Like if I re like divert this water, if it reaches the edge of the map, does it just leave as soon as it hits the edge? Just arbitrarily? Because redirection is like the whole point of the game. Like redirection of the flow of water. Like can I could I theoretically direct the water like over here to like escape over here. It would be like really high water level. But yeah, or like have it escape over here. Or or blast a different escape path. Because the water needs an escape. It, need, it needs to be able to leave the map at some point. Uh, otherwise, yeah, it's just going to keep rising and rising and rising. Uh, until it finds an escape. And then this point is marked as the source, but... Can the source get higher than its current level is the other question I have. Like, will water rise more than the source? It should be, it should force itself to go higher, but I don't know. Questions. Things to try out that will absolutely destroy everything that I have ever built on the map. All right, how are we looking here? Looks like uh, they are chopping some trees. Now, I've just left this on times one. We can we can speed things up for now. We we do need to get the uh, stuff here built. Now you just use logs. You need logs. You only need logs. It looks like they're building the warehouse first. Uh. I will mark that as the priority. Yes, thinking about how to break the game while doing the tutorial. That is absolutely the way of things. That is how we play around here. I'll always thinking about how are we going to destroy the balance of this game. Alright, they built the thing. Good. I have done the gatherer's flag. You want me to now build a farmhouse. All right, so there's some things I already know about the farming. Uh, first off, the first couple farmhouses. Uh, first off, I'm going to do two of these. So one is going to be set to harvest and the other is going to be set to planting. That's like one of those, one of those rules of thumb that come up constantly is having one each doing each thing uh, and then I guess you then need to do things crops we'll start with carrots now how big these plots need to be I've got no clue Blah. we'll do carrots with a little bit of potato this one need to be much, much bigger. Blah. The potato area will be smaller. Uh, all right. Carrots. Four days, three carrots. Potatoes. Six days, one carrot. Uh, one potato. Uh, eventually, we will want wheat. Uh, to make bread but uh that's 10 days to get three wheat uh, we need to get food five for each beaver is a good start number you've never played that's just an idea uh i don't know i'll have to look up this information at some point on like how many tiles are required per beaver per crop type because that's that's going to be a thing that uh 
is good information to know. Because this is going to use up a lot of my green area, quote-unquote greenery. Now, as will uh, the replacement trees. Uh, so, the trees, once I'm able to plant them, uh, we will want maples over time. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, that's 30 days to get 8 wood. Uh, we will need to start with birch, 9 days per log. The, uh, the maple gives 8 logs per maple tree. But yeah, it's uh, it's a entire month to do that. 30 freaking days. We're on day two. So, yeah, about that. Now, if I could please get stairs, that would be great. Not enough science points, anyway. Move game. Yeah, the UI looks nice. I just wish that this bottom bar had some semblance of logic to it. Ahem. <clears throat> In terms of, like, order. Maybe the tutorial is going to tell me something about, uh... How much stuff... I need there. We're, we're, we're even higher now. Or maybe I should just go over here. Sure, we'll, we'll just go over there. Yeah, because I want to get start getting up here and chopping down some of these dead the dead wood and the gathering of the berries from over there. Ah, good. This is now available. Can fit 200 stuff in the storage. Good. Good! Alright, now they're starting up the farmhouse. Need 25 logs. I'm noticing that they do take the logs directly to the construction zone rather than going to the log pile first. Everyone sleep. They're all sleeping. Hey, we got we got some grown-ups. Two more adults of our four children. We will need housing to increase our population. But first we need, you know, to secure the supply of food. That would be great. That would be great. Having having food is nice. We currently have uh, 126 berries. We need uh, a bit more than that. There we go. Ta-da! You are a harvester, though. So maybe I'll make you the planter and I'll make you the harvester. And they're, they're planting. Huzzah! We did the thing. 70 carrots! Okay, uh, need to be planted on irrigated land. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, carrots, 70 of 70. So apparently, to feed 11 with carrots, it's 70? Oh, and apparently I have, uh, I have gone a little bit too far. There. Betterer. Build three water tanks. Okay. Now. What's the eyedropper tool? Or do I always need to go into here to build a new thing? Uh, we need we need an eyedropper tool, and it's not Q or E because that's the rotate keys. Key bindings, hey.
doesn't exist. Apparently G has a whole bunch of info. The G key. We can see all of our beavers and what their job roles are. I wish it wasn't icons, though. I wish it was text. <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, this is the flag, the, the flag for lumberjacks, the flag for berries, the flag for lumberjack again. Working at district center. Working at farmhouse. Works at water pump. I shouldn't have to hover over these to immediately tell. Anyway. Day four. Cycle one. Forecast is unknown. Go, my beavers. Be busy. Be busy, beavers. Plant all of the things. Uh, they're totally going to build this other farmhouse before they build the uh, other tank. Uh, speaking of which... Um, only one more child, and we have two unemployed. Hey. Uh, what do they do? They employ builders. So if I have two unemployed, they can go there. Or what I can do is I can build an additional flag. Now this flag only does one at a time. Because I think two for hauling is enough for now. Building slash hauling. I imagine building and hauling are the same thing. <laughs> Ahem. The building is full. Oh no. That's a good thing, right? <laughs> that should be a good thing that those buildings are full. Yes, pump. Pump that water. Now what I would really be impressed with is if I had a whole bunch of pumps. If it would start to lower the water level. Even when sourced. Even when sourced. Now I can... Hello, underground ruins. That's a thing. Now, I would imagine that it does that uh, when there is drought, uh, that it will ideally use the water faster <laughs> when there's drought as you're, as you're pumping the water out, but would it still do it when there's a source of water? Because this gets into a... And interesting bit of information uh that's a bit more topical these days uh so yeah there's been droughts lately uh in the u.s okay we built the thing and it's causing some reservoir lakes to dry out <laughs> you may have heard and this has been a problem for a long time and it should have been addressed a long time ago. Build six homes! Hey, there we go. Now we're talking. Do I even have the space for six homes? Uh, and ideally, I want to do it in an area that's not going to use up the green spaces. Uh, so, back here. One, two, three, four, five, six. They wanted six, they'll get six. Build my minions. Build! One of them's done. Jeez, that's... Hmm. Twelve logs each. Enjoy your lodges. Now at least three of my beavers have a place to sleep at night. 
the rest just to just get to sleep on the on the ground. Day eight. Two. We now have two lodges. I'm gonna want one of these. I uh Yeah, I want I want one of these. I think I want a path here. But you need planks, so you're gonna be uh lowest priority. Planks! We need a lumber mill. There we go. Lumber mill just uses logs. And it needs horsepower. Okay. Uh, so maybe not there. I will need... I need some horsepower. How much horsepower will I need for you? 50. So you're saying I could have a... I could have a beaver running on a wheel to power that building. The water... Why do you have to be 90? Why does this have to be, like, weird numbers? Always? Why is it always with the weird numbers? Did a beaver just die? Yep, of old age. A beaver has died of old age. They were old. So they died. Alright, build that. How much stuff do you need? Logs only. That's a lot of logs. Oh boy. Uh, then I'm probably going to want to have some means. of getting this power sent elsewhere. So that I'm able to then put down that lumber mill. Still want to have that mill be close by. There should be good. And then as far as I'm aware, we just connect the thing. Uh, so every beaver was randomized on its age at the beginning. It's not that they died at nine days old. It's just they died on day nine and, have, and were present in the game from day one. But any... One of my beavers, see this one's age 37, age 17, 25, 29, 33. Randomized ages. Alright, power. Hmm? I need to, uh, I apparently need to kill a tree, a couple of trees. So we'll worry about that once the, uh, once the trees are gone. Why are you seedlings? Yo, could I, uh, could I just get rid of you? Please, please just get rid of them. Yeah, a cycle is basically akin to a year. The The thing about the cycles, though, is that it's based off of drought and not drought of its two seasons. And then over time, droughts to get 
longer and longer so the cycles last longer as well so a cycle isn't really a set amount of time i've done the thing build an inventor invent invent for me and kill these trees get rid of them they're in my way Because I need, I need one. I need a shaft here. All right, there's buildings are lacking workers at the moment, so I have to like. Yeah, be like, hey, uh, could we? Yeah, I need to. At this point, get rid of you. My beavers are happier than ever. I have reached a well-being score of five. Five whole thingies. We unlock the iron teeth at 11, which I guess guess is something that you can do relatively quickly if you just if you place sunflowers down that would give me the next level unless you have to process those sunflowers in which case then new no. campfires are easy enough I think anyway this is just gonna happen we're going to hit 11 at some point. Go, my minions. Be free. Go go to sleep. Go rest. Go rest at night time. Ah, and we do have children now. So we're now up to 14. So even though we had one death from age... We've now had four new beavers born. Four entirely new beavers. I need them to work. Ideally. At some point. Uh, speaking of, I need to pay attention to... This. Uh, I need the, ne the other one. Oh. There we go. Need one on harvest. There, everyone is employed. We have full employment. Now, please destroy the tree. Thank you kindly. Power. Good old mechanical energy. Uh, now, I will want you to do this preferentially. Does the shaft spin the wrong way? Uh, yes. Yes, it does. The shaft is spinning in the wrong direction from the direction that the water wheel is spinning. Mm-hmm. Now that's funny. Like, what? Why are you the wrong way? Why, why are you both going in the opposite direction? Huh. I could flip the water wheel, but there's no point in that. And of course, the energy provided by the water wheel is proportional to the flow rate of the water. 
So if you have a nice narrow and fast flow of water, uh, the water wheels will give you a bit more energy, I would hope. Yes, beaver engineering. All right, we have the thing, uh, but we need to have a person work there. Uh, and then they're going to give me science. Science! For science! If only it was if only it was this easy in Factorio to get science. Just place a building and it gives you science. Okay, we did that. We've done the water wheel. We've done the lumber mill. Now you want me to place a forester. Now where is the forester? You need to unlock it with science. And we need 60 science. Where is the counter? Up here. We have three! We have three entire units of science. And we also now have five babies. Uh-oh. The drought is coming! Uh, quickly, I will want... to... Probably put down a couple more of those. Just, uh, just, just a few more of those. Last thing I want is to completely run out of water. If this is even supplying me enough water on its own to uh, give water to my 15 pop at this point, probably not. Probably not. Uh, let's put a focus on that. And let's do that now. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to get rid of the gatherer flag for now so that I have the worker. Because I am running low on workers, please build that immediately, or as quickly as you can. Oh, and I guess you... I don't need you working right now, either. Uh, so, what's my status like? We've got one unemployed. You need to be here. How are we looking on our capacities? We've got some berries and carrots and a few potatoes stored. 149. Really, so they must have... Right, so this is telling me I have 101 carrots. But in the warehouse, there's 50. So those other 50 carrots have to be somewhere. I would hope that this is like banished and that they have stuff in their lodges. Unless, oh no, they're, they're in the farmhouse. Okay, they're in the farmhouse. You're carrying 41 and you're carrying 18. And some potatoes. Uh, now I think the potatoes have to be processed first before they get eaten. So if I go to food... Yeah, the grill... The grill will grill me some potatoes for food. More nutritious food. Uh, but I need you to have a worker. Alright. 
don't focus on planting. Uh, when there's going to be a drought in a day. And it, it does take time to uh, drain the water as well uh, as soon as the drought starts. It just means that the source stops sourcing. So there's still a bunch of water that has to flow down before it and flow out before it uh, dries up completely. So we've still got an opportunity. An opportunity. And we're not going to get any power, of course, during the, uh, the drought. Question is, how many beavers are going to die over the very first drought? How many will die? I don't know. I'll sure find out. Uh, if I were betting on what would kill them, I would say dr uh, lack of water. But we shall see. Because uh, they should be able to grill the bit of the potato stockpile. They've got... Well, I guess I would have to place that gatherer flag again. So that they can quickly try to pick up the berries before they disappear. But it's nighttime, and the drought has begun. The drought will last for three days! And the water is gone. And the berries. Okay, so they'll, they'll dry, they'll die in a certain number of days. So I don't know if the, yeah, so the, the berry gatherer will gather the berries. Oh, we now have 14 adults. Good. Uh, and that means that... Uh, okay, I'm going to want more housing. Have I done the forester? No, I need to... I still need nine more science before I can get the forester. Forester is 100% required. Maybe, maybe not at the moment. Uh, so, this water here... This water is not drying out. So, this means that we can store water when its level is lower than the exit water level. And we may be able to uh, game the system a little bit as well by setting up some artificial lakes of deeper water level that when a drought happens the input and output will vanish but the actual lake itself will remain and the water will get pumped out the water won't be moving so it won't be generating power because it really won't be able to move during the drought but it will be reservoirs without needing water tank storage just massive reservoirs of water because I could put pumps here all right you need what now no recipe is selected okay recipe Grill those potatoes! You convert logs and potatoes into grilled potatoes. Lots of grilled potatoes. We have just enough to do it one time. No, we have uh, we have one potato and 0.1 log into four grilled potatoes. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure that... Uh, we shouldn't starve. Also, we need more housing. 
Uh, I now have the science. Oh, and the forester is going to take planks as well. Whoa. -oh. Alright, you need to operate, or at least be operational, even though you're not going to be operational for a day and a half. Uh, there's still berries to... Uh, there's still berries to gather. The warehouse is full. Okay, that's a thing I need to address. Give me another warehouse. Give me a path. Up. Uh, 70 science to get wooden stairs. I won't be I will be needing those. Just like I will be needing additional lodges. Just trying to think if I want a space. in between. We'll see how that turns out. Yes, the building lacks power and we're lacking the planks, yes, for you. And for this thing as well, but eh, whatever. How many logs? So these trees, the pine will last. That's fine. Yeah, I need to get access to the... Hi! There's a slope there. There's a... There's a slope there. They can... They can get here. Whoever put it here, beavers are grateful. Oh, there's one right there, too. Yeah, I'd say I'm, uh... I'm pretty grateful. There's one right there. But that doesn't really do much for me. It gives access to ruins up here. Yeah, I'm gonna need to, uh... Cut all that down. It died. Now I'm going to need another one of these as well. Up here. Hold on. Wood. More. More lumberjacking. Path. Uh, and I will delete those for the moment. I'll need to bring them back once I have the forester going and I start planting birch in here.
Yes, I know. The construction needs logs. Speaking of, the log pile that's here needs to move. Remove the pile. Yeah, so I'm just keeping a watch on this now that the water is back. It's flowing. The water floweth freely yet again. And that gives me power. I can mark that as to, as buildable now. So now we'll have logs coming down here. Looks like they actually had sent a whole bunch of logs already, so it's just ready and waiting for a new day to come. And then the planks will be on their way. Yeah. Yeah. Progress! We survived! Nobody died! Nobody died, outside of the one person who died of their age. Oh, we're now at six because we now have the grilled potatoes. Excellent. Excellent stuffs. Why does that say five out of eleven? I don't know. It should be six. Six soon. Everyone should have the access to the things. Alright, so more housing should yield more children. Hopefully. Ideally. Then how much science? Currently 54. I'm trying to think, what do I want to unlock next? A small lodge that fits a single beaver. Okay, that doesn't sound like a great fit. So we have inhabitants 3, inhabitants 6, and inhabitants 9. Water dump discharges water. I'm trying to think of when that would be useful. It could be a way of clearing flooded areas. Okay, they did the forester. That's good. Right, so aquatic things. These are new, right? New to the game. Most recent content update. You can now put like cattails and farm cattails and stuff on the water. Uh, the thing about that though is you do need a persistent supply of water to do that properly. Anyway, I did the thing. You want me to plant 20 pine. <sighs> Alright, just for this tutorial, I'll set... 20 pine. Because uh, that was already a, pan a pine there. But the main... The main thing I'm going to plant is like a bunch of birch. Uh, so that would be... That would be 25...
That's like 90. That's a 9 by 10, right? Uh, and then I'll have a little bit of maple in the remaining spots. Uh, prioritize the birch. We have finished the tutorial! Alright then. Huzzah! An hour later, we have finished the tutorial. How, how wonderful. Now, what do we want? If we demolish this, the water will come in here and sort of like pool in here and I can actually make a little bit of a lake zone if I put a if I replace this barrier with a uh, some sort of a dam that lets water in but not but is able to be closed not to not let it out uh, when the drought comes then I'd have a like little artificial lake that I can tap with my water pumps like I can put a water pump in here uh, so I'll mark that for demolition. I'm fairly certain that I'm going to need to have a way down for that, though. Uh, because while beavers can swim, I'm pretty sure they can't jump. So even if I mark it for demolition, I don't think they'll be able to get there until I have some sort of a walkway down. Hi, Ollie. Are you joining me? Are you are you joining me, Mr. Ollie? Hi, Ollie. Now I'm in the way of the Ollie. Hey, let's uh let's move me back over here. Yes, let's go right there. So that's going to be where I sit. As Ollie is now. He's he's there. Hi, baby. Hi, hi, big boy. Ah, stuff. Stuff in the way. How am I gonna get this? Buh. Ah. Ba ba. Ba ba. Ta da. There's Ollie. Hi, big boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's a big foot. That's a big foot. As he's trying to grab me. Hey, you. Hey, big boy. Yeah. Yeah, that's a big boy. Uh, he got me good the other day on my on my belly. He got me good the other day. Put a hole in my brand new t-shirt. My brand new Pokemon t-shirt. With Eevee and all its evolutions around it. It's like, ooh, I was so upset. I was so upset. I was carrying him. And I ended up tripping slightly, going upstairs from the from the den into the living area. And he got scared. And he kicked himself off of me. And it gave me a great big scratch across my stomach. And put a hole in the in the shirt. I was like, great! I've had this shirt a week! Less than a week! I've worn it like three times! Uh, now it has a... It's a really small hole, but it's still a hole. Alright. How are we looking here? We now have a total of 20 pop. Autosave. Has autosaved. Uh, this is now filling which is ideal. How are we looking on here? So we don't have any workers for that. Great. Everyone's employed. Uh, and everyone is sheltered. Um, overall well-being is six. We have a nice amount of science. 
So what do we want to unlock? That is a great question. Uh, grinds, wheat into flour. And then you will bake wheat into bread. So we need both of these if we want to do wheat into bread. Ah, bees. Bees are good. It's 400 science, but, you know. Ah, ba, ba Do I want another forester to help with the reforestation of this area? That would be ideal. I will need to do scavenging eventually, but we don't have the science. Ah, spending science to get more science would be great. Oh, why hello there. Tutorial did not tutorial the uh, the leisure. So we're going to do the campfire for leisure, which uh, <clears throat> will ideally make my beavers more inclined to produce additional beavers. And then rooftop terrace will need pathing um, to get to, so that's going to need stairs and platforms. So, one more science, and I can unlock stairs. That'll be the best option for the moment. Alright, we can unlock stairs. <laughs> Beautiful, glorious stairs. Uh, and then my, my thought here is I'm going to have stairs, and then I'm going to have platforms down this line uh, once I can unlock uh, platforms. Uh, and it'll it'll just be a path going down, and I can have like the rooftop terraces and additional housing uh, on this line here. It's why I left a gap. It's why I left a gap. And then I could have platforms up here as well and have, like, additional houses in here. Alright, all of that said and done, I absolutely need to have a path down. So I'm going to do this here. Or do I want it over here? Just something to give me access to demolish that. Or should I have it to over here and give me access to the actual river itself? Or do I have multiple of these? Yeah, I'm thinking multiple would be best. Uh, give me that there and then give me one uh, over here as well. Uh, and I'll path my way to them. Uh, they do use a significant amount of planks, though. Uh, I'll need a stairwell on the other side. Too far from builders? Well, I highly doubt that. The path is just for show. Uh, once they build this stairwell, this should not be beyond the range. I would, I hope. Oh, do I hope? Okay, they got rid of the thing. They got, they got rid of the thing. Now, what? exactly am I looking for here? The levee blocks water completely. The dam blocks water but allows some to pass through a spillway at the top. So I think this is what I want here. Um, no. No. 
I'm I'm looking at it and I'm like, and I'm thinking actually that's not it is but it also isn't because I will also need to raise this water level as well so I will need to dam over here now if I dam over here then I don't need these stairs anymore uh I think I think it raises the water level enough to not need that. What's a good spot to do this? Probably here. Uh, let's go ahead and get a path. Oh, right. The, uh, the power. Um... I'm not going to use it, <laughs> frankly. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, go, 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 go. Beavers, magics, magic beavers. Uh, we're limited, I think, by the plank production at this point. Yep. See, they uh, they swim. They swim through the water. He's moved. Hi, Ollie. Hi, baby. Yeah, it's the baby. Yeah. Yeah, it's the pretty boy. All right. Wow, that's a lot of logs. <laughs> of course it would be a lot of logs for making a dam. Should I build another forester? We're popular. <laughs> Alright. Doesn't quite hit max, though. I think this would be completely filled out if we have all five visitors at once. So that's how we'll know when we need to make another campfire. Still gathering bunches of stuffs. You're starting to build, do the pine now. Okay, you can build these from the top. That's good. So you'll be able to do all of that. Uh, now the effect of this, by putting this dam in here, is that this water level will go from here up to, like, I think one below. We'll see if it will allow more water to flow into here with this dam here. I may have to not have this be a dam, but something else. May need to be a floodgate. That I raise up at a certain time of year it'd be nice if it was just uh something static though or if this whole thing was a floodgate well either way not much i can do about it right now until i get more science building is full well that's a good thing but that's a good thing though you're full of berries. Yeah, that's a that's a very good thing. All right. Ahem. There are no more logs. Oh boy. So What am I gonna do now? We have a stockpile, so we're okay on the log count, at least for the moment. Um, I just need to continue expanding, I think. I 
just need to continue like making paths. Um. Ah, yeah, you, you're built. Yes, so my beavers can get down here now. And it would be very, very nice if they could get up here to these trees. Oh, that's a chestnut. Hey, we can potentially gather chestnuts from these trees. Do I need to process the chestnuts, is the question. So you store chestnuts as chestnuts. Yes, you need to grill them. Grill them on a grill. And it seems I will need more potatoes. Yeah, because we do not have any grilled potatoes. Yeah, so I'll need to adjust my planting. for additional potatoes. Uh, and potentially to uh, clear some of the corn. Corn? No. Carrot. Replace with potato. Aw, uh, it doesn't let you do it until the thing is cleared. Alright. I can wait. Until you clear that. Oh. You know, that would help too. Oh, there's no workers. Not enough workers. Well... Considering I've logged all the logs over here. What are these? These are all pine. Dead pine. Uh, if I put a couple of stairs up, I could gather all of that. I could gather that. Or I could gather these and this with a single stairwell over here give me a stairwell right there path it uh, and give me lumberjack flag uh, I do they want it, I want it to cover everything And then tell it to cut that down. And cut those down. Now these won't be built until this stairwell gets built, but uh, this stairwell is in range. Because beavers can swim! Of course they can swim. Uh, I don't have enough logs for this, do I? 10, 20, 30, 40, blah, excuse me. There's 80. <laughs> okay, I have just enough logs for the dam, which means I should have enough for this. Uh, let's prioritize these stairs so that I can start getting additional logs, and I will need a log pile uh, out this way. Excellent, excellent, excellent progression! 
We are progressing. Slowly but surely. I should have another inventor. Give me... Give me another inventor. Assuming I have the, uh... Adults for it. I've got two unemployed. Yep, 18 workers. Zero vacancies. Oh boy. What does that mean? Oh, it means that I'm at full employment. And I don't have any buildings that require beavers without uh that and aren't working because of it and then yeah two need jobs so it means i need to add more jobs which i will through these through these two lumberjack flags as soon as we get the stairs going hey we've hit seven we hit seven off of i think the social life adding in that campfire So that's good. What next? Are these still... Okay, these are now going to get built. So let's focus priority on these for the moment, because I will run out of the logs sooner rather than later. Uh, water's all filled. That's good. Now, the water in here shouldn't drain. Whoops, that's, that's my alarm to indicate that I am, in fact, halfway through today's stream. Ah. You see what's happened? Uh, do you see what has happened? The water is no longer flowing here because I built this dam. Now, the water will begin to flow again once the water level has risen above the dam's level. And you can see that the water level has in fact risen already the water level has gone up just by just by constricting this in half this flow rate is higher than before much higher than before ah good we are accruing more logs uh, which could also mean that we could begin to build from this side potentially ahem if you source your logs here you should be able to go from this side i'm pretty sure this isn't going to be enough chestnuts to like do proper chestnut grilling but i could set up the gatherers flag over here And they'll gather whatever's within gathering range of that flag. Uh, so these trees are going to give me glorious things. Oh, you've produced sap. Pine sap. We're going to need that at some point. Ooh, you've grown. The birch is alive! It's alive! Alright, give me... A lumberjack flag for back here. Just one. And I'll tell it to... Whoops, not that button. Ah, good. They're already set to cut the trees. Oh boy, that's uh that's a few beavers we've got there. Um and that has done its thing, so give me more potato. Potatoes! More potatoes. Must have more potatoes. And then how's our housing situation? We have one We have one slot for housing. One, one free bed. No one is homeless, fortunately. Not yet, anyway. Uh, so, housing. We're almost able to unlock the 
double lodge at 150. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking we get this inventor going and then we unlock the double lodges. Alright, you should be able to move by now. Once once this gets built. Alright, they've done the thing. They're now built. So the water should rise and then equalize there see it's starting to flow again excuse me move oh water Water, water, water wheel. Whoa. Uh -oh. Three days. Three day warning. All right, pump. Uh, the whole point of doing this was to be able to put at least one water pump. Uh, in here. Alright, so the question I have now is... Grilled chestnuts. Yeah, so I'm watching the water mechanic and I'm seeing that it's actually overflowing here. And you see the level over here is much lower. So it's not overflowing here, which is preventing the water wheel from moving. So I have to move my water wheel. Uh, ideally, all the way down here. Like, right here, to be honest. Because uh, this is where the water's flowing. Um, am I able to get the shafts, though, properly? Did I just unlock that? No, it shouldn't have. It just unlocked it and I told it no. Like, excuse me. But I told you no. And it needs gears. I, I'm, I thought I pushed no to unlock that. Oh, well, there goes a whole bunch of science that I wanted for something else for the for the house. I actually had enough for the lodge. So, I will need a platform. Which, of course, is science, so I can't have you here. Water wheel. Y 
you are going to have to be built. Here. Yeah, that'll do it. That will do. And then the lumber mill has to also get moved. Power. Uh, do a T intersection to there. Path. And you need to be deconstructed. Now, I wish that it would... Uh... I wish it would return some stuff when I demolish... When I demolish things, I wish it gave resources back. Ahem. Like, game. It would be nice if you gave some resources back. Okay, gather is gathering chestnuts. And you are roasting chestnuts to make grilled chestnuts. Ooh, warehouses are full. Put a warehouse there. Uh, water is not being pumped because I have a lot of water stored at the moment. Let's get a couple more storage for water. But focus on constructing these three things in particular. Although I'm almost out of... <laughs> ah, I've almost destroyed all those. Hmm. I wonder what the ratio is between lumberjacks and foresters. I think it's one to one. But over the size, like compared to the size of the field is what I don't know. Like how many... How many tiles does a forester, is a forester able to forest versus a lumberjack able to cut in a given time span? Probably a lot for the growth rate of a tree. Like, the longer it takes the tree to grow, the more tiles any one forester or lumberjack would be able to take care of, would be able to handle. Now, of course, we're going to be building this right on time for the drought to completely remove any water flow and all water flow from, from the game. But you can see, yeah, the water in here is, is higher level than water uh, was previously, thanks to this dam. Now, what's going to end up happening is that the water stops flowing ah ha huh. right right pause ahem this is me failing to notice something very important yeah so uh so this drop here is very important 
and this this being a dam is very important. Ahem. So I've basically made a little lake in here. And then all of this drains out, and this lake remains. Yeah, so you dam this, and it lets the overflow through and raises the water level. So now I don't need to worry about this drought. Now, the water will go down, of course. The, the level in here will decrease as I use the water. And it won't flow, so it won't give me power, because it's not flowing right now. It's just a lake. But all of the berries stay. All of the all of the trees stay watered. At least most of them. There's a little bit in here. A little bit in here on these maples that are not properly done. But yeah, this is... This is highly convenient. This is very convenient. Of course, I'm using this water faster than I'm using this water. Hmm. Well, if that's going to be the case, do I even need this dam? I don't think I even need this dam. No, go away. Oh, some of the chestnuts dried out. That's a little sad. Well, if I knew that that was going to be the case, I would have put the dam line more over this way, get more greenery. More perpetual greenery, anyway. Okay, let's think about things a bit more here. Uh, so that I will need to get water in here at some point. Some sort of irrigation setup. How I'm going to do that? Oh, boy. I don't know. Yeah, 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 we're lacking in the chestnuts for you. We don't have any more logs. Great. The logs are dead. Until we harvest these. And we only really have the one lumberjack that is harvesting these logs. Uh, Sue, so we're going to need to get more trees online I think we uh, I think we need more trees I don't know about you but I think we need more trees and we are still needing more housing oh boy uh Oh, isn't that lovely? Uh, hmm. I see a problem. E ever so slight problem. See, this is, uh, this is elevated housing. This, uh, this entrance is up in the sky. Yeah, that, uh, that entrance is, uh, up. This isn't the only thing I need. I need, uh, platforms. Let there be platforms! Why, hello, platforms. Welcome. Welcome to the party. This is exactly the thing that I need. Uh, so... I wanted to do this and then platform my way down. 
Uh, and I guess also platform my way down there. And then I could set up the double lodges on here. Uh, they will need a path. So the platforms will be paths. Uh, and I could set up regular housing on these three uh, and anything over here. But there's this nice little leisure thing called the rooftop terrace. And I could actually get one and fit the rooftop terrace in nicely right there. Huzzah. Now, of course, I need more logs for all of this. So, <sighs> ah, logs. All right. What am I going to do for the logs? Um, oh, there's more chestnuts. Hmm. Thing is, I am uncertain about range on my lumberjack flags and on the like builders for the for the district the actual district's range um because it extends with paths right it looks like this is beyond the range of the district the current district I have this path, it's going all the way down, but the limit is there. Hmm. So I can't reach that. I'd probably be able to reach these, but that's not that many. Same with all this stuff up here. I don't think I'd be able to reach it. Ah, so, I need forestry here. Yeah, I just need the forestry to be good. To be a good, I need to be good. Alright, well... Nothing stopping me from saying to plant additional birch. Like, what is what is your range, actually? Your range is there. Hmm. Hmm. So you're saying I can plant more trees in here, huh? All right, then. All that should be set to get cut as well. And then I can add in additional lumberjack flags. Uh, and I am very shortly going to need more farming as well. It's just what area will I add for farming? I'm thinking of removing the berries completely uh, from in here. Setting up the gatherer's flag more over this way. Yeah, like set the set the gatherer's flag over here. Or a gatherer's flag over here and get rid of that flag and then tell the game to uh, mark those for demolition then I'll, I'll likely add additional farmhouses over here ah we're back the flow we are flowing yet again So our little lake here lasted the entire drought.
which is a very good thing. Now, if only this area could be um, growable. Oh, we don't really have demolitions yet, unfortunately. Unfortunately, we have a lot of uh, grilled potatoes now stored up, and carrots, and berries. Those are all good. The chestnuts, well, they're a luxury resource at this point. Yeah, we, we don't have enough to feed everyone, which isn't going to get reflective in here very much. At least I don't think it will. Oh, I need another campfire, apparently. Yep, we are full on the campfire. Leisure. We need another campfire. How are these looking? You need logs! Duh! How about you actually go and, you know, give me logs? Yes, Ollie. Pretty boy. Yeah. Yeah, my boy. Now he's back. There we go. Hi. Hi, Ollie. You are not demolishing these blueberries. Why? I don't know. Do I not have anyone? I have five unemployed. Uh, game? Who does the demolition on the blueberries? That's a good question. Does it need to be a gatherer? I don't know. This is also not moving. I can't help but notice that this is not moving. I, uh... Game. I, uh, I, I, can't, I can't help but notice that the uh, the water wheel here isn't moving. That the water is, like, going around the water wheel. Okay. Okay. Fine. Uh, that is exactly what I'm going to do, because I have now unlocked platforms. Uh, I can now actually build the water wheel uh, in the river directly, and then have platforms why do you think that's too far from builders like excuse me uh, I'll probably need those as well but yeah I could have platforms and then have the uh, the shafts like so it's just I need logs to build all that. And I currently have like three. And this takes 50 to build a water wheel. Each time I delete one of those water wheels, I delete 50 logs from the face of existence. Uh, I would really like for the game to uh, refund some of my resource cost or be like, let me move the object. 
around. Like, if I've built it, please let me move it. Okay, you're finally starting to deconstruct those. Though, frankly, I'm okay on my carrots for the moment. All of my water storage is maxed now. So that's good, too. Right. Platforms need planks. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. Temporarily. We're gonna put down a power wheel. That is literally just a hamster wheel. For, for, for beavers. It's a beaver wheel. And they're going to run on the beaver wheel to give me enough mechanical power to produce enough planks to build these platforms. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Yep. Yep, that's a thing. And of course my my buddies are over here building all of these. I Yep, this Lodge doesn't have access, that doesn't have access. They've gone and they've built all of these platforms before building these, uh, somehow. And that used up all of my, any stored planks that I had, and a lot of my existing logs. And now we've harvested all of the trees ish that are available yep <sighs> we're a little bit stuck to be completely honest but uh, I I think I'll have to I, I think I have to log these chestnuts unfortunately Put that there, and then chop the chestnuts, uh, get rid of the gatherer's flag, as well as you, because I need these trees. I need the logs. I need you to build this preferentially. Now it looks like we've had a couple more old age deaths, a few more. But the population's looking fine, for the moment, anyway. Just waiting on these freaking maples as well. Because maples give you eight logs each, it's just they take freaking forever. Please tell me you're, you are delivering the logs here. They're slowly getting rid of all those. Remember, I'm going to put down more farming over here. Although I might need more wood, actually. I probably should just put down a, a forester over here and start foresting this green area.
No, it looks like they're starting to build this guy, too. All right, we have some planks. Hello, Talus. Give it, given me, given me some power. Oh boy, that's good to know. Do you see what I see? I see the building acting as a pass-through for producing power. So you can daisy chain your power consumers. Oh, thank God you can daisy chain. You might need a, a shaft in between buildings in a row, but... If you can just daisy chain them, that's excellent. Because that's what I'm seeing here. Is that the power will flow through buildings. Oh boy. Well, they built the water wheel. Now they're building a platform. There are many platforms that they need to build. What does that mean? Eight. We've reached level uh, eight well-being. That's going to go away because of the chestnuts going away, but... Eh. Looks like they can access the rooftop terrace now. I might actually need... Uh... I may need more than one rooftop terrace. For the current population. Uh, I don't like that there are zero children right now. That means I'm at f uh, full-ish. No, there's like seven free beds, but six of them are here. Of which, of those six, you can have four adults and two children. Is that, I think, what it's telling me there? And this slot is for a child. But it can be an adult. If the adult doesn't have somewhere else to move. Okay, I got it. I understand now. When a child becomes an adult, it will, I guess, see if there is an available lodging that's empty or has, or has an extra adult slot. Uh, otherwise, it's going to sit there and then the parents can't produce more children until the child moves out. Hmm. Hmm. So this lodge is a two-family unit. That's how I can think of it as. It is a it is a two-family unit. Uh, I'm gonna want priority on the platforms over here as well as the shafts. Uh, the limit should absolutely be the... Uh... Oh, it's not the logs. It's not the logs this time. The limit is the uh, the planks. Yeah, because each one of these chestnut trees is giving me four logs. That's uh, very nice. That is a very nice. Um... Speaking of which, our food is doing amazingly. Uh, if you could also give me that one specific platform. <laughs> that one very specific platform is absolutely required. I need that. <laughs> I, I need that one platform. Uh, and I could build a, a constriction in the river using... Uh, levies and that would make the flow rate go faster but it would also increase the water level behind the levy levy however whatever you want to call it uh, and yet again the water wheel 
is spinning in the opposite direction of the rest of the uh, little lines there. So I no longer need this power wheel. Uh, so I'm going to make that priority like really low. If there's other uh, work demands, then fill those. Because uh, I don't really need this power wheel. In fact, I'm going to pause it for now. And that forces the worker to go unemployed. Uh, okay. Thought process. Uh, I currently am sitting on 380 science. So I should think about uh, the science. Uh, so I could unlock levies. Uh, I could unlock floodgates as well. <laughs> Explosives. Needs power. Needs steel. Um, yeah, my concern is... that these next items on the line... Oh, hello. That's logs and planks, right? That's logs and planks, right? So how does the irrigation tower work? And what does it need? I think that's... Is that saying that I need one worker? Yeah. I'm pretty sure that says it needs a worker. And that it's... Two water... Over time. That it's going to consume two water over a period of time, whatever time frame that is, or constantly consumes two water, I guess is what it's saying. So it'll always be using water at a rate of two units. And this water dump says it will drain three units of water over an hour. I just wish this would tell me how much water, like what the, what the time span is on that two units. And the pump gives me three per hour per pump. And then you have to haul the water as well. So you would need workers to haul the water to the irrigation tower, I would imagine. And then if you ever fail to haul the water to the irrigation tower, you... uh. Ooh, you've dried out your whole area? That seems dangerous to me. I, I don't know about you, that seems dangerous. Oh, you get gears from planks. Okay. Uh, so I don't, I shouldn't have to worry about things that cost gears. And I think that's the next item on my priority list. Maybe a bigger warehouse at some point, but that's not as high on the list of priorities. Because I'm solving the housing problem now. We've gotten... Basically, we now have a supply of food, water, and building materials for housing. So the housing is fine. Now we're just in a phase of expansion, pretty much. Uh, I could use more water, but the tanks are going to need the gears.
So outside of things like better food and such... Oh, also, if this... If this little lake here never runs dry, I could do some aquatic farming on it. And it would increase the variety of food. But I don't I don't know what additional processing I would need. Hmm. At some point, I will need pine resin. And then another question I have is, are the underground ruins infinite in scrap? I think so. Because ruins... As you can see, they provide a set amount of scrap metal on these ruins. So my thought is that these underground ruins must be the infinite supplies. Uh, of which I see three on the map. And that fundamentally means that you will be... You will have a cap as to the rate of scrap metal based on the amount the number of these mines that you've accessed ideally you won't need that high of a rate of metal but whatever uh, da, 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 da. oh you also need resin to make the observatory as well as gears interesting And there's something to be, said, to be said for adding in leisure. Work on unlocking the other faction at some point, but... No, I'm not going to unlock the other faction. Why would I want to do that? No, I want, I want the gears. As those will be a gateway to better things. Where is that gear workshop? Alright, gear workshop. You are going to need 120 horsepower. Uh, and I may as well make you... Or put you over here. Go ahead and... Uh, get the path. And then I will need another water wheel. Water wheel the next. Uh, those should work together. Uh, well, in tandem. Uh, you can see that this is producing 110 because of the flow rate being higher out here towards the middle of the river. Uh, this should be very similar. Uh, the only thing slowing this one down is that we aren't able to put it diagonal. <clears throat> That's the only slight problem there. Like, if I had a water wheel right here, this water's falling pretty quick. Uh, I want to focus on your 50 logs first. Uh, and then this is limited by the plank production. I actually have 120 logs hanging out, which is ideal as these birch come online. Oh, we got another drought happening. <laughs> Three days to the next drought, our third drought. Yeah, I want another forester. Six eighty seven, six ninety, two seventy, two eighty water. 
My main concern is just population at this point and being able to properly supply my population. Last thing I need is to run out of water stored. Uh, of which this gear workshop will give me the gears to build large water tanks, which have, uh, you know, ten times the storage capacity. You know, just casually 10x. Ah, oh, this one's actually making less energy than this one. Interesting. Hmm. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Alright, I want the Forester... over here uh, and I want to plant maple in here and only maple in here uh, and please focus on that forester over this guy making the gears. Yeah, because I sort of need planks to make gears. And I only have the one dude making planks. Something tells me that this ratio is not one to one. So I will need more lumber mills as well. And more water wheels. These things eat up uh, 50 horsepower. Uh, and these eat 120. And I have 211 available. I will need another water wheel if I want to make another lumber mill. Alright, this guy is here. That's good. Uh, there's apparently a... Vacancy. I guess it's counting the gear workshop as a bank. Oh no, it's the wheel that I've turned off. That's the one. Ah, uh, that is fine. All right, I need more housing. Housing. Let there be housing. How's this How's this doing? It's okay. These are fine so far. Wow, they built that fast. Hold up. Hold up. Those were instantaneously built. Ahem. All right. That's that's good. I I like that. I like that a lot. I like instantaneous building. Ah, good. Our first maples exist now. Uh, and we are, of course, in the drought. We have been droughted. So no power for me. Uh, I will go ahead and... Uh, Turn that on again. I will I will turn this on. Benny, come work for me. I'm assuming that these are gonna operate at a slower rate when they don't have enough horsepower. Yeah, sev seventy percent. Or no, thirty-three percent because and thirty-four percent forty etc. Yeah, it's going to have a productivity hit or an efficiency hit because of the lack of adequate power. But that's okay. As long as it's moving, 
during the drought is all I really care about, you know, as long as the dude's working. Of course, when everything shuts down at night anyway, it doesn't, does it really matter if I have the power running on these during the night? No. No, it does not. Alright, just looking around. Oh god, I need even more housing. I just had an influx of children because I built that housing. I just had a serious influx of children. Gee, I hope I have enough water in my lake. Because frankly, if the lake dries out completely, that will suck. See, the level is already fairly low. But we are less than half a day away. Less than half a day from influx of water. Yet again, but it's good to know that uh, I am at that point where I am starting to use up most, if not all, of this water. Ah, great. Drought has ended. Thank you kindly. We have entered cycle four, and we've kept enough stored water for everyone. We definitely have the food for everyone, uh, although we don't have enough carrots for everyone. I definitely have the potatoes for everyone. I have a gear! Yay! We're, we're starting to make gears. And the, the maples are being planted and cut down over there. Alright. How we doing? How we doing, kid? Kitty? Hey, Ollie. You're stretching? You're stretching and moving? Yeah. Yeah, pretty boy. Pretty Ollie. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is uh This is a little colony. Just a just a little colony. What are the next steps? All right, I've got 376 science. What do I need? Uh, the large water tank that I have already unlocked would be great to have. Uh, I can put it there. Uh, it's just I will need 20 of the gears of my two uh, in order to build the thing. So that's just great. Um, I think I have to do the irrigation tower. Ma manufactures explosives from paper. Excuse me? Did you just say from paper? And it's just logs into paper. Okay. Well then. I have a mission. <laughs> I, I have a mission. But, uh... That mission... Is going to be next time, I think. I think, uh... My brain is a little fried at the moment. And... There's a lot of information that I want to look up going forward. Uh, in particular, I want to look up a lot of worker ratios uh, for uh, for the farming goods and for the uh, lumber goods. Uh, I want to know, 
the uh, amount of food per pop, water per pop. And that's primarily the th main things I want to know right now. Um, I could add more science. Actually, I do have some pops for additional science. Uh, I want to know like how many like t tiles and such for specific things. I want to know exactly how the ir irrigation works, etc., etc. But uh, for now, uh, I'm going to be ending off the stream here. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching. If you have enjoyed our first stream of Timberborn here, uh, please be sure to do all the social engagement stuff. That's very important, as this is the very first stream. Uh, to go ahead and do uh, the liking, commenting, subscribing, if you want to watch more of this. Uh, you can also support through becoming a member of the channel down by hitting the great big join button, as well as supporting on Patreon at patreon.com slash if you're so inclined and able. The game is in early access. Uh, it is available uh, on Steam and other stores, I guess, maybe at some point. Uh, it's definitely on Steam. I have the link down below to the Steam page. Uh, that's one of the things about uh, streaming this game. They request that uh, you have the link to the store page. So it's down there. And uh, I will be back on Thursday where I will likely immediately recognize a whole bunch of stuff that I've done wrong. And we'll want to redo. But uh, yeah, anyway, I will ideally see you Thursday where we will continue on and work our way towards demolitions. Because that sounds like a wonderful idea. I will see you all then.